I want to test these supernova some more. I'm curious if y you can manipulate and harness the power of these newfound supernovas. Uh, I'm going to try and get a black hole, a very, very powerful black hole, by the way. That's going to be a, a black hole that is 10 million times the mass of the sun. So a pretty, pretty damn crazy black hole just sitting right there. And then we're just going to make a sun going to supernova. Let's make a, a sun orbit this black hole pretty damn close to the event horizon. I just realized, can we place orbits now at like pretty much any centricity? Eccentricity? Can you think of it? Really close. Okay, to the event horizon. It's gonna supernova. What is going on? Oh my god. Is this seriously happening right now? Are we ripping apart a sun? We just pretty much created that, uh, that interstellar black hole. It's getting bigger and bigger, what the hell? Uh, slow, slow down, hold the phone here. Hello, Sun Nova Remnant. You are gaining mass. It is at 800 times the mass of the sun, just getting bigger and bigger, orbiting this black hole. What is going on here? Now, this black hole is losing mass. What just- that is- that is cool. That is- that is cool. That is cool. I'm doing that again because there was a transfer of mass from the black hole to the sun. The sun was feeding off the black hole. But not even light can escape a black hole, but mass can escape a black hole. Is it- Damn. You physicists are good. You're good. You're good. You're Good. You're good people. Actually, I want I want to see if it like when it orbits from a distance, if it manages to gain mass from the black hole. Probably not. But let's see. Oh god, and it's gonna go. Oh Jesus. Is this is it spaghettifying? Oh, oh! It's the Roche limit. The the Roche the the Roche limit. But it's for a sun. Like we did the same thing when we were tearing apart the moon. And now it just gets torn apart. For some reason, it starts gaining mass. It is gaining mass. Because I guess it's just the fusion reaction. I guess I just don't. I just don't have a good understanding of fusion uh, with suns. I, I guess fusion reactions, or you trigger some kind of fusion even more with suns. I don't really know what exactly it is that triggers a supernova. Something becomes unstable and it explodes. But something is now becoming unstable with the sun because there is a huge force pulling it apart, the black hole, and now it's causing it to get more massive. I like it. I, I really like it. Seriously. Black holes are cool. Suns are cool. Supernovas are cool. Space is cool. I want to watch just a crazy disc just appear from all of these suns, and I just want to see supernovas make this black hole have Christmas lights. It's officially Christmas season in the universe. This is happening. There we go. I think we just shot a supernova into this into the universe. That's cool. <laughs> so it seems like nebulas, they don't, <laughs> they don't really orbit. They have no orbiting, uh, I guess there's no physicality to them in this game. It's, it's, it's probably just purely a mechanical thing in the game where, where nebulas can't orbit and they can't stretch apart. So we've just created some kind of a device that charges up suns. <laughs> it just winds it all up like one of those hand crank flashlights. And then when the time comes, we shoot out supernovas at the universe. We've just created the ultimate weapon. Oh my god. <laughs> it's gone completely insane! I'm very curious now with black holes. Is there a roach limit? Roach? 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 Is it pronounced roach? You guys told me it was the roach limit. That, 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 there's a, there is a point between two gravitational, but two bodies with gravitational poles, or just one body, I guess. There, there is a point of no return for everything that has a gravitational pole. Uh, and once an object passes that point, it will get torn apart by the gravitational pole. So I wonder if that is possible in any way for a black hole. Maybe, if it's programmed in the game. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess in theory, yes, I guess, whatever. Can you tear apart a black hole? So this is a black hole of mass 10 million times uh, the mass of the sun. So let's do one that's 1 million times the mass of the sun, and we will make it orbit this black hole. And I would say that this point is probably at that that limit. Where is the black hole? 
Did it just disappear? Okay, here we go. Okay, so black hole, 10 million times the mass of the sun. Is it losing any mass? Or oh, sorry, a million times. It's it just got sucked into the black hole. I guess maybe 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 the game is accounting for some physics in it, but it seems like it just sucked up the black hole when it just got super close like that. I want to fire the sun into a pulsar. Or what if we where's the pulsar? Oh crap, pulsar is wait a minute. How big are pulsars? Pulsars are tiny? Holy crap. Okay, well that's bizarre. I didn't realize how small pulsars were, so it's, it's weird seeing uh, watching a planet get torn apart by like such a tiny object. It's like a little little tiny guy, like going like, yeah, we're gonna kick your ass, and then no one believes him. <laughs> and then he kicks that person's ass. That's what's going on here. The mass of this, it's just the mass of two suns. It's it's not really not really any big deal. But let's make Earth orbit it. So if I was if we were that close to the pulsar, look at this. Look at that size comparison. That is Earth. I'm trying to think. A pulsar is probably smaller than the state of California. <laughs> what is the radius of this thing? Have I messed with pulsars before? It has a huge amount of density, of course. It has a radius of 13 kilometers. Wow. And it's the mass of two suns. It is twice as massive as the sun. So we're gonna launch this thing. We're gonna launch a pulsar. Add a pulsar. Very, very slow where you can barely even see it. Like, we're going at 800 milliseconds per second. We're just a little bit slower than real time. So let's fire this. Okay, we're, oh, we're, where's the pulsar? Why is it firing that far away? No, it's going away. What the hell? What happened here? Pulsar, add a pulsar from this distance. Oh my God. They don't even really explode. What if I make pulsars orbit pulsars? So we'll make this uh, be binary. Balance the motion. Oh my god. They just cannot handle each other. Holy crap. Try and make it orbit from this distance. Oh my god, they just spin around so fast. So we're going at six seconds per second. Oh, that's actually a pretty cool formation that they got going there too. Its velocity is over 8,000 kilometers per second. Relative total velocity, I guess, is 16,000 kilometers per second. Rotational period is 42 seconds. Rotation speed is 1.9 kilometers per second. Could I potentially get something sitting in the middle of all of these? I don't want to fuck up the simulation. I want to, I want to put a planet just kind of getting tugged by both objects here, but it never really gets pulled by one because you got both of these sitting in the middle here. See, oh my god, I keep forgetting that. <laughs> oh, this is so weird. I'm gonna need to put like an asteroid in like orbiting these or something because I can't even put like a dwarf planet without it looking like the biggest thing ever. It's like, this is like, uh, space for mice or something. <laughs> the Great Pyramid of Giza going between these two pulsars. So we got the Great Pyramids of Egypt. Probably, it's not even burning up. It probably can't burn up because it's just a random object. Let's see. Can I even get a temperature on this thing? I can't even get a temp- wait, surface temperature is 32,000 degrees Celsius. You're a true trooper, the Great Pyramids of Egypt. Okay, so who's gonna get pulled into what? Oh, you're just gonna get pulled right into there. Goodbye. And that will not affect the orbit. Actually, that totally did affect the orbit. The Great Pyramids of Giza completely messed up our- our orbits here. Oh, so now they're just moving through space and it just- How did something like the Pyramids of Egypt getting placed between these two uh, stars affect the orbits that much. Here, third stage of Saturn V rocket. Let's put that right in the middle here. Let's, let's see if that messes anything up. <laughs> How does that mess it up? It's so unstable. What was that, 10,000, 100,000 kilograms? And that caused us to get a pretty cool supernova! We got a supernova! Thank you, Saturn V, for triggering a supernova. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to uh, launch a bunch of Jupiters into the sun, but I can place a Saturn V, part of a Saturn V rocket between two pulsars, and then now, now we get another supernova. But <gasps> <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> but that is what's going through my head right now. <laughs>
I forgot that you can you can actually uh they have a monolith from 2001 a space odyssey that you can make orbiting this where is it monolith <laughs> what if we uh make this thing orbit earth here <laughs> maybe the monolith will be like it's taking a bullet for the planet! Take a bullet. Oh, oh, it missed. Take a bullet. Take a bullet. Take a bullet. Take a bullet for the planet. Take a bullet for the planet. Take a bullet. Nope! Oh! You let that happen to the planet. Take the bullet! You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Take the bullet. 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 Yeah! I bumped it! But nothing happened! Or is that it right there? It just kind of clipped it. And now it's spreading across the planet. The great protector of planet Earth, the monolith, no! Shit! I think we created a spin for it now, now it's spinning around. Spin it, clip it, clip it, clip it, clip it! I think we clipped it! Because of the spin! <laughs> I don't know, I'm so amused, I'm so amused. Those damn apes and their monolith. <laughs> spin around the monolith. We're gonna make this thing crash into the planet, oh my god. No, it's happening! And it's getting more massive, too! <gasps> and it's gone. <laughs> oh, let's just take a moment of silence for the great protector of planet Earth. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was fun. That was fun. Why the hell haven't I played this game? I can fly to any one of these dots. Oh, down, down. Oh my god, I can see the star. We're, we're, we are not alone. We cannot be alone. Earth, in the midst of all this, cannot possibly be alone.